Despite the fact that there is no known liquid water on the surface of Mars, many scientists believe that Mars once suffered a flood of biblical proportions. Ironically, many of these same scientists deny that Earth, a planet 70% covered with water, ever had a global flood. One large canyon is 600 miles long, 62 miles wide, and 260 feet deep, and it's believed to be an ancient waterway that has since been covered by lava from volcanic eruptions. Many other features discovered on Mars have led scientists to conclude that the planet underwent flooding in the past. The same type of evidence for massive flooding on Mars can be found in abundance on Earth. The Earth carries all the hallmarks of a planet that once had a global flood. The flood described in Genesis would lay down the vast majority of Earth's fossil-bearing rock layers in a short period of time. Billions of organisms were buried in the process. The remains of these fossilized creatures and the sedimentary layers in which they are found bear witness to this event. Why do so many scientists reject a massive flood on Earth while accepting one on Mars? The truth is that the worldwide flood described in Genesis would completely undermine evolutionary beliefs about life on this planet. The rejection of the biblical flood is often due to evolutionary biases rather than the actual evidence. In fact, it's not a stretch to think that nearly every geologist would appeal to a global flood to explain many of Earth's features if the Bible had never mentioned such an event.